Yo, what's up, guys? So we all know the bigger your boobs are in the game, the more damage you deal. No, jokes aside, Amazon did release a new business model for their monetization for Throne and Liberty. And I do want to talk about the changes and later give you like my personal opinion on if the pay to win did get better or not. So let's start with um, their values. Because from what they're saying, like player self-expression, combat and power upgrade must be accessible to all players which is like a core feature of defining between pay to win and pay to progress. For pay to win, I would consider if you can buy powers with real money that is not that you are not able to access at all as a free to play player due to it be maybe being like or tagged with a price tag, like for example, 10 euros instead of the in-game currency, which is in front of Liberty Lucent. The last one here, purchasing items from our in-game shop must feel rewarding, but never necessary. Yeah, I don't know what to think about that. That's just like an evergreen for every shop area, I guess. Let's do a quick overview of the things that are currently in the game. So you get an idea on how the current monetization is working and what are the changes on. So we have three currencies. Um, the main currency, I would say, being Lucent. This is the, the currency that you can buy with real money. This is also the currency that will be used in the auction house. So on first glance, that looks horribly paid to win. Then we are having Solent. Solent is um, basically the gold in the game. You will use it to craft, to upgrade. From my experience in Korea, Solent was more of a bottleneck than Lucent in the early and mid game and that shifted in the end game to Lucent being the bottleneck. The third one is ornamental coins that you can get in game by collecting books and there's like certain other events and stuff that can trigger this and those coins are used to buy individual stuff for your cosmetics so you can dye a certain piece in a certain color and all of that sorry to interrupt but short self-promotion is needed in the last video i told you that 98.9 percent .9 of the viewers are not subscribed to the channel and you actually have been slapping it and now it's only 91.2 percent and i know you can do even more so hit that subscribe button and as a little goodie on the 18th, together with the Global Beta, I will release a 27 video walkthrough guide to take you to all the hard quests and all the hard puzzles so you are not getting frustrated. I have just dropped that Lucent is part, is the currency that is being used in the auction house. And in the auction house, a majority of items can be sold. But you cannot imagine it like the game starts at day one you whale like 10,000 euro, you just go in the game and buy everything and you're done. This is not possible. So the way um, the loot works is that you are getting like the high-end gear with your guild together. And your guild is mostly determined who is getting the weapon. So what is important here is that there are some scammy guilds out there that will have like their raid set up and then afterwards they will still make you purchase the weapon from them. You would not even get it for free even though you're participating. So I highly recommend if you see a system like this in a guild instantly leave and only join guilds that distribute the loot based on like contribution, experience, skill, like um, stuff like that they can measure in some form of like an in-game stat. So it's transparent to all the players. And this fact that all the items are mostly controlled by the guilds will mean that only like, I would say like fairly bad guilds would ever sell like a high-end drop in the auction house. So it will take a long time until high-end items will even hit the auction house. It is actually more likely to be fully equipped as a free-to-play player in a really good guild where you spend lots of time and put effort in than um, like whaling as solo and getting everything. The next part is the passes. There's two different kinds, one being the leveling pass. It's a one-time purchase out of also all the upgrades that you're getting. So maybe later um, it goes to level 60 max. No, it will always upgrade. It's only a one-time purchase. 
this will give you upgrade mats and stuff like this it makes your leveling experience a lot smoother it used to be that this is only purchasable with um with real money there was no lucent tag on it but now it's also purchasable with lucent so as a free-to-play player you can just go and farm items and sell them in the auction house to get your lucent there's many ways to farm lucent fairly efficient when i was playing in career i was not able to donate obviously because it's career so i did not um purchase any lucent and i just farmed all my lucent and i was able to play and even stay competitive in pvp as a free-to-play player of course i would have been like a decent amount stronger if i would have been able to purchase but um, i would say the longer the server exists the less relevant it was like money in this game can only buy you like an early spike on a server start but not in a long-term process the next thing is the battle pass it's basically the same it is now purchasable with lucent so you can obtain it as a free-to-play player when we are looking at the in-game store there used to be that you can actually buy Solent, food and potions and i think it's a really good change that they removed that from the um, from the store because this was creating an imbalance at the early game Solent is a bottleneck so if you're just making it fundable that peak that i just talked about at the start will be even bigger so here they reduced like that peak at the start for whales and only thing one thing that we still have to keep in mind there is like a workaround to get Solent via Lucent because there is some jeweler, jewels that you use to upgrading like a Marin for example and they have a high Solent count added to them if you NPC them at, at the merchant. This is basically a workaround so you could buy with your Lucent lots of those jewels and then NPC them to a merchant. The rate that you're getting, getting for Lucent to Solent is not good in any ways but like if there's like a giga giga whale like he could have like an unlimited amount of solen by that here when we are looking at the early access i have never seen a system like this it's a first for me so what they will do they will have early access of five days which sounds like a lot like i would probably not like to start a game where i'm five days behind honestly but they made a workaround so they will have early access servers and they will have launch servers so when you are free to play you don't want to buy the early access you can just start five days later on a fresh server where the early access people are not there so you will have the same things even auction house and stuff that's like cross server is not accessible you can also not use a server transfer from early access server into a launch server for a protected, protected amount of time. I think this change here is the most free-to-play friendly version I have ever seen for an early access model. The way early access sells is actually by fear of missing out and people just buy it because they don't want to be behind. And now the only reason to actually buy it is you don't want to see other people playing the days for five days uh, playing the game for five days on twitch and only watch them and not be able to play and i think if that is the case and you have the money you should just buy it no? and if you want to save some bucks then just enjoy some nice streams while you're waiting for the release and that being said don't forget i am streaming as well and now i want to talk about the latest change where I think one of the biggest pay to win factors in the Korean version was laying and this is the blessing of Solisium. That gave you an enormous amount of benefits. So like teleporting for free, additional dungeon runs so you would get like more drops than people that would not be able to purchase it and this blessing of Solisium was also only purchasable with real cash. So this um, is really bad. I would say like it was like the core pay to win aspect of the game. And this is actually being removed. If I want to sum up all of it, I would say you go and get um, Lucent as a free to play player just by farming dungeon, doing your regular tasks and setting the stuff in the auction house. You will be slower than a player that is purchasing Lucent with real cash at the start regarding that power spike. I am pretty sure that in the long term, 
it will not matter how much you would have spent at the start, the people will get decked out. Also, the game is not offering any RNG upgrades. That means um, there's not like, or you need to get like really, really lucky, yeah, to hit like a max roll on something, and only whales that spend like um, 100,000 euros are able to actually get that because the chances for that are so low. Stuff like this is not existing. So if a server is pursuing for a decent amount of time, the gear of a free-to-play player and a cacher will look exactly the same. So basically my result of all of that is, I would say it's actually clean pay to progress. You cannot purchase any power directly. There are a couple small workarounds but overall, I think the this as a free-to-play game will actually have the best free-to-play experience from all the free-to-play MMOs that I've played so far. Cheers, guys.